Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. Recently, I've been testing a new Wi-Fi system in my house. Uh, it's a combination of a router, access point, and a mesh network, and it's called the Eero. Now, it's very similar to Google's OnHub system. They want this to be a Wi-Fi, a router that you don't have to manage and don't have to go into complicated menus and open a web browser and set up, and you can extend it beyond your typical Wi-Fi router's range. So it's actually a system of devices devices, you can expand them, it's scalable. Uh, let's start off with just one of them. This is the Eero, it looks pretty nice, almost like a Apple TV. And the back you have two ethernet ports and also a USB port, uh, which isn't a lot for a router. You buy routers these days, typically have one WAN port and then four LAN ports. These work as either, but there's also a USB port which doesn't even work for storage or it's only for diagnostics. You can't plug, for example, a printer for it uh, into it. But what you can do is plug this into your modem or into uh, a switch and it'll create a new network. Um, it's a two by two system, so it has 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz 2x2 MIMO. Um, and the antennas are all inside, so no all antennas that pop out. Now you think that might limit the range of this, and it does. Uh, this compared to my favorite, just standard 2.4 5 gigahertz router, uh, does not have as strong a range. And that's where strengthened numbers comes in with the Eero system. So the idea is you set this up, and it doesn't uh, add on to your existing Wi-Fi network. It actually doesn't extend it to a whole new network in itself. It lives alongside it. Uh, but you set this up, and then you can plug in additional Eero. So as long as they're about 40 to 50 feet from each other, and best if they maintain some line of sight, but it'll even work through walls or even through floors, it'll maintain and con connect and build one continuous Wi-Fi network. It'll appear, uh, if you use something like Wi-Fi Analyzer on your Android phone, it'll actually uh, pop up as multiple networks, but if you look in your Wi-Fi settings, it's just one network. So I had this set up in my house where I had the Eero uh, plugged into my modem, and then I had downstairs another one, and I was able, able to hit a lot of dead spots. Dead spots in my living room, on the couch, where previously I was getting maybe negative uh, 75 decibels of power, but with this system connected and with some with better line of sight, closer to negative 40 or negative 30, some really strong signals. Using speed tests, getting somewhere uh, basically quadrupling the amount of data and the bandwidth I was getting just by adding one of these. And then adding a second one, I was able to expand it to all the levels in my house and all the rooms and get even more extended coverage. Now you set up and run Eero using a smartphone app and they have apps for iOS and Android and it's interesting because the iOS app is actually more full feature than the Android app. The Android app is missing some key features like port forwarding and um, DHCP and custom DNSs. And that's going to come later. Uh, but they also want to keep it simple. Uh, you can set up a guest network easily and just text the uh, login and password to your family and friends when they're over. Uh, but you don't never have to go log on to a web browser or type in the IP, enter the admin password, and reset stuff. It's all done via the app, and then you verify it over a text message. Um, it's also kind of expensive. So they launched this also as an early backing system, a crowd-funded system, and they were about $100 each or $300 for a set back then, although that was a fair price. You can get a good router for about 100 bucks now. But right now in retail, they're selling three of these for $500, or you can buy individual ones for $200. Now, if you want to set up your own Wi-Fi extenders and more access points in your house, you could buy an old router under $100 get into the configuration, get into the menus, and set it up as an access point. That's totally doable. I actually recommend that. But for people like my parents, who I don't ever want to have to do IT for them, and they have pretty crappy Wi-Fi range in their house, this is a system I'd look to set up in their house so they can have good Wi-Fi, they can watch videos on their iPad, move around the house, not have the videos and streaming disconnect, and never bug me again for tech support. So that's the Eero, it's out now, uh, go check it out. And we'll have more videos for you to check out, more gear reviewers on Tested. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.